Hey everyone, how's it going? It's uh, Shinobi123 and I'm going to do a video for uh, Kid GBC, Kid Game Boy Color. It's um, an emulator on the Android Marketplace. It's uh, it's $2. It's an emulator for Game Boy, original Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Um, it's right here, Kid Game Boy C, GBC with the uh, one up mushroom. Alright, so right when you start it, when you download it, you start it, it comes to the screen. At the bottom it says uh, continue game, that's because I've already been playing it, but um, if you just open it up, you're not going to see it. The first thing you want to do, or first thing that you see is it tells you the controls. Um, you're going to see something different because it starts out with original controls. I think it's uh, AWSD, and I mean that works perfect for a computer keyboard, but for um, a QWERTY, small QWERTY board that you're using on a phone, uh, it's different because you're using different fingers, so in my opinion it doesn't work. So what you need to do is hit menu, and you're going to get a bunch of things down here, and so you want to go to settings first, and then you're going to see this screen. Um, I think the top two um, options will not be selected when you um, first start it, and you really want to have those both selected because if not, um, the top one, if you don't have it selected, you're probably going to start the game and it's going to look like a mess and you just won't even be able to play it. And the, the second one hides the top menu, it hides like the Kid GBC, it hides the status bar, the time and everything. And um, I'll show you why that's good as well. But so if you want to change the control, so you just you know hit um, these different boxes and then it'll ask you to enter the uh, number you want. The way I like to do is just having this be like the direction pad, like up, down, left, right, one, Q, W, and A. And then P and uh, zero to be um, A and B. Just like on like the Super Nintendo, where like I'm pretty sure the Game Boy Advance is like that too, where it's kind of diagonal. So anyway, that's uh, what you want to do there in the settings, and then we can hit back and go back. So it says uh, tap to open the ROM selector. So just hit the screen. Of course, you're gonna want to load some ROMs. Um, uh, you've got you've got to go online and find them and load them onto your um, SD card. So here it shows like the whole directory. So here's my SD card. So I select it, and then I made a folder called Game Boy ROMs, and I put my ROMs in there. So I'm going to select that, and then here's all my different ROMs that I have loaded onto my SD card. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks is whenever you're loading a ROM, you got to start from the very beginning. It would be nice if the developer could have, you know, have this thing. Once you go into this folder, then have it saved. So whenever you load a ROM, it goes back to this. But I'm going to do this. Um, game first because I I showed this on another um, Game Boy emulator that was for the Android market. Do you want to load this? Yes. Um, it was called Mobile Boy and see I, I was I was playing this game before so it's asking me if I'd like to restore it but I'm just going to hit no. I'm going to start from the beginning and it's going to load it. Um, there was another um, um, emulator called Android Boy. It's it's gone now and it's, it's expired. You can't even play it. Um, and uh, this actually, it's it's faster by a little bit. It's still not super fast. Um, and of course, the screen is like full screen. I mean, if you want us to talk about any kind of problem, if there's like a problem with that, it'd be the fact that it, now it's it's stretched. It's like pulled basically. It's pulled wider than the way the Game Boy um, screen was. But I'm just going to show this so you can get an idea. To show this a little bit faster if you. If you want to see my other um, Android Boy demo or uh, video, and then so one of those options in the setting was to remove the top bar. As you can see, the bar is gone, and that helps out a little bit because if you have the bar, if you keep the bar as well, it's going to squish the screen down to make it like a little bit more, a little bit more distorted than it already is. But as you can see, yeah, it's a lot faster. Um, it, it's pretty smooth, I think. There's no sound. Um, from what I understand, it's not something the developer can even mess with. It's, it has something to do with, um, I don't know, Android, the SDK, or something like that. So yeah, there's that. And then, um, so you can hit settings. It's, and another cool feature about this is you can uh, have multiple save states. You save it. You can save the game. Hit menu. You can go to states. Select it. See, I already made a save state, but basically you can just type in here in the status bar, just type whatever the name is that you want to save it as. And so as an example, 
So I, I typed in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 201. So I'm pretty sure, let's see, I think I can hit load, and I think I can load my last game, so let's just see, I'll hit this. Let's see what happens. Uh, maybe not, so I'm not sure about that. Um, maybe because, hmm, let me see. I don't know, sorry about that, guys. I don't know why it didn't load it from where it was. Oh, well, we can show you some other games. Um, let me go back. Load. Okay. See, if it goes back to the SD card, it'd be nice if it kept memory of where my folder was. But it's kind of a small thing. Um, another game I... Load, yes, yeah, so open. I'm just going to go back to where I left off. <clears throat> but I reviewed this for Mobile Boy, Mobile Boy as well. Um, it's really nice though to have like a full screen. You kind of get used to the distortion and as you can see it's a little glitchy but all in all the games work pretty well. And they're pretty fast I'd say. Um, like a trick I've noticed that, you know, if you leave this sitting for like a minute or whatever you have on your for your settings for when the screen times out, like say you know it, it goes to sleep and then you hit menu and wake it up again, it's gonna be it's gonna be frozen right here. You're not gonna be able to move anything, and you're gonna think your game just you know froze and you gotta start over. Well, what I notice is if you hit menu and then just go into settings. And then all you gotta do is just hit back, hit back, and it should be fine. You should be able to go back, and um, you should be able to play it right where it started. It won't, won't be frozen anymore. Um, what else can I show you guys? So yeah, settings. I know if you want to add the the top menu, if you want to add or remove it during the game, you have to close the whole thing and reopen it. Nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, so load states settings. Let's see if I can load this. Let's just try Mario. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't let me load it. Oh well, so that's it. Um Yeah, uh rate, comment, subscribe. Alright, see you guys.